getting to a point in and you really love them so it's a relationship that i had hopes in so when i found out that uh, love is the best feeling and the worst when you are yo guys just welcome to another big and bang show today and you just going to like it actually let me let me give my guy some little time to int- introduce himself and we just pop into the to the show just immediately so who are you, who am i with uh, my name is finley ongoya oh she, he's finley and are you a student in this campus or um, no i'm not are you not so you've been pirating over here maybe doing some stuff yeah i'm just here for a walk all yeah. right now what what uh, do you have about guys who literally cheat on the relationships Mm, guys who cheat okay i don't know uh, i don't know whether i'm going to support it or i'm going to be against it but uh, to me cheating these people who cheat uh, are uh, people who maybe they have not yet found what they wanted in that person whom they are dating maybe they are not contented with what uh, they have uh, in their partner so uh, that makes it uh, <laughs> that makes it uh, uh that makes it for them to yani waende watafute huyo mtu mwingine sasa yeah yeah so basically it's uh, it's about maybe contentment or maybe yeah so you think there's a right for guys who just cheat ah no it's not good though mm. it's not right but uh, uh people who are dating mm. are people who are in the process of looking for that eligible like, like that elite elite partner whom they want in life mm. so uh dating is literally getting to know someone and when you find that it's not the right person you all right so uh, do you think it is a waste of time cuz literally you've said dating you date for some guy and you be like is it, is this my my right partner and maybe if you don't just get it mm-hmm. you just push off a right so don't you think that is a waste of time or even a waste of okay. feelings to other guys like you know okay so to me cheating is not right yeah uh when you find that somebody is not uh, uh doesn't have the qualities that you want or that, uh has the qualities that you don't like uh, basically what i think you should do is to inform them uh, rather than going to an extent of cheating all right yeah. so you better you, you better inform them on the event you want to cheat yeah, like you, you tell you, them you we just not fit to be on a relationship yeah you, you just tell them yeah it's not okay Let me, <laughs> let's just cut this thing yeah, uh, right. okay 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 has somebody else ever cheated on you Yeah how how did um, you how did you take that <laughs> stuff in were you really hey, okay with it way let me just start with the way <laughs> it was not that good way because uh, i i can say it's the love is the best feeling and the worst when you are kama umepata unachezwa sasa like ukipata unachezwa manze that's the worst moment in your life okay mimi sikupata nikichezwa but uh, nili let me say niliachwa thank you yeah. <laughs> uh, and how long how long did that stuff take like did you he- heal up just oftenly or it, it took a process or was it even an event how long did you take to recover from okay. the guy who cheated on you it's a relationship that i had given it my all mm. it's a re- it's a relationship that i had decided to try like nione kama anaweza kana huyu partner for some time okay so it's a relationship that i had hopes in so when i found out that nachezwa mm. man uh, okay when i found out that uh, it wasn't working mm. obviously i was so disappointed so to answer your question i didn't heal instantly because i had given it my all i was so much disappointed it took me like mm. several uh, several months let me say so all right yeah. so your girl is going to get this show and she be like getting to <laughs> you know she be like hearing from you saying maybe she cheated on you and are you are you, did you just move on are you okay now at the moment yeah i'm okay so do you think she's going to get a kind of bad mood hearing that you moved on i don't know do, do you do you literally talk or you never talk yeah we talk we you talk. do talk yeah we do uh, so the lady that cheated to this guy <laughs> the guys are on, on another fucking level so thank you for that question i have another question like what if you know some some, some stuffs are really not predictable right so let's say you just wake up on a moment and morning that is and you be like you get a text message or even a call from your fiance or your lady and she just be like you know finley i can't take this in and 
I really don't want to do this. Let's just break up. What will like will will that fucking shit be that really strange or what what will be the instant thing you ever do for that? Okay, let me first ask. Is it a lady when you're napping as an ama? Yeah, basically that lady you you literally love, love very much. <laughs> well, so okay. First of all, Nikki para such a message. I'll have to call. I'll have to pick my phone and uh, call her. I'll not text. Let me say that. I'll not text. I'll have to call to inquire what's up. And even if he, if it's more serious, I'll even ask for a meetup so that she can explain it to me why why the sudden the sudden no, yeah? yeah. So I'll first of all pick up my phone, call her, and uh, if she's uh, in a place where I can meet her, I'll have to meet her face to face so that uh, I can confront her and ask her why why what's what's up why why did, did she tell me that yeah, all right <laughs> so is there any point you are you, you you do you have friends yes i do i do uh, is there any point your friends know your girlfriend mm, yeah so some know your girlfriend they do so let me ask you in the event of maybe your friends get, uh, getting to know your girl mm-hmm. now let's say you 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 your very friends get to pump into your to your girl and they just be like they loving each other how will you ever feel for that my friends <laughs> yeah really <laughs> those are not my friends <laughs> so, so how will you take uh, that stuff in? Uh, no i just so have whom, to... whom will you literally hate is it uh, your, your male friends or the lady herself what of uh, all of them Both. because the dm the girlfriend mona mm. yali why did she accept them uh, really <laughs> then my friends why do they why are they betraying me yeah mm-hmm. so like lazima to it wasn't something true so like Lazima. <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely cut them off. Oh, <laughs> that is a good thing. So, and another thing, uma uma fair. Like, have you ever sent fair? And you'd be like, "Hi, baby. <laughs> okay, can you just meet up?" And the girl be like, "Yeah, I can, but I don't have transport." Mm-hmm. And you'd be like, "Let me just send you transport, and you just come to my place." And that event, you realize your girl was just interested in getting your cash. Right? Uh-huh. So what my cool affair? As J cool affair. As J cool affair. As J cool affair. So like initiate to our watch and it cool affair. So what message do you have to guys when you're me cool affair? That you know that feeling is so uh-huh. sad, you know. I've it's J cool though, but the way I just take it in, yeah. I know it's okay. so bad. So what message you got to those guys when you're me cool affair? When you're me cool affair. <laughs> <laughs> um okay si unajua okay hiyo moment yenye umetuma fair uko psychologically prepared for something right yeah. then upate sasa umetuma fair then akuji obviously you'll feel you'll feel very disappointed so the message that i have for them ni wa watu lie tu wasare maybe haiko akuje hiyo siku so yeah lakini so you learn from the mistake uh, really once beaten twice uh, twice was shy shy yeah, right? unajua natoka luo nyanga oh, so oh you from luo nyanga so, so it is so, you say side <laughs> instead of shy yeah, right like it, yeah. <laughs> so but it's normal with accent right mm-hmm. so k k k k can i just ask you the last is it the last or the second last what what awkward stuff or uh, what is it what is the weird thing have you ever done in the name of love like what do you find maybe strange to have done for love and it's no longer working out like you really have a mind of either regretting that stuff very okay you don't regret anything but the most weird thing i've done for love yeah. i think maybe kulilia mtu mwenye akupenda oh you've ever cried tia really tears ya macho moja oh yeah but cuz you are hot right shedding tears yeah 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 all right that's so, the most weird thing i've ever heard so that song is really you know getting to a point in unadilia mse and you really love <laughs> them <laughs> can, can can i just suppose you come toto yeah maybe it yeah you yeah. go first love Oh uh, that was yeah. first. They always say first love is the real love, you know? Maybe that girl is going to get to chase you right off. You, you never know. But I believe in the fact they say, do you believe in this thing like we accept the love we think we deserve, right? Yeah. But we reject the love we think we don't deserve. deserve yeah. So literally, let me ask you the last question. Now, just look at me. 
<laughs> so how do you rate my outlook? Like, how is it? How am I? Am out, I of, out of what? On the basis of just rate it out of ten. How, out of how, ten. Yeah, really. I'll give you an eight. Oh, eight. Yeah. Are you not underrating me? Ah, no, no, oh. no. It's above five. Oh, thank you, guys. Guys, it's been so nice having my guy, and we've just had to share some stuffs, and you know, these relationship kind of stories really vibe very much. So. Just link link with us and everything is definitely 